before setting out on the way of the cross, let us gaze upon Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane as he surrenders to the Father's will. In this lonely hour while others sleep, Jesus came face to face with the Father in the deepest recesses of his heart. He asked the Father to relieve him of the horror that lies ahead, but in an act of surrender, he lifted his hands in prayer and gave himself over to the Father's will. This is a moment of anguish and soul-searching struggle. It is also a moment of luminous glory. It is here that Jesus glorified the Father by an act of complete self-surrender. He then began the way of the cross that led him to Calvary. We follow in his footsteps. Amen. 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 Let us gaze on Jesus condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. Here we stand, members of your body, Lord Jesus Christ. We gaze upon your face, your body, wearied and worn by betrayal, accusation, abandonment, and unjust judgment. Look upon us and be merciful. We too have been misunderstood, judged unfairly, condemned by others for no good reason. We join you in your shame, your pain, your anguish, and we pray with you, Father, Father by the, the gift of, of your Spirit dwelling in our hearts, open, open to us to trust, trust, as trust as Jesus trusted, even, even as he was condemned, condemned to die. die. When, when we feel most alone, be with, with us, us and, and strengthen our hope. Amen. Amen. The second station, let us gaze on Jesus taking up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you have redeemed the world. Look, here I am before you, my own people. The weight of this cross cannot be measured. It is the weight of the jealousy, rage, hatred and revenge of others. It is the cost of announcing the good news of the Kingdom of God to all who listen. Hear me when you are wronged for doing right, when you are the target of anger and revenge, when you feel the burden of daily life and duty, come to me. Ever-loving Father, 
as Jesus takes up his cross, he shows us another way to life. It is the path of peace and patience, humility and truth, and self-emptying love. Lead us with him to the fullness of life never ending. Amen. The third station. Let us gaze on Jesus falling under his cross the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Here we stand, the members of your body, gazing down at the Savior of the world, falling in the dirt on a lonely road. You, our teacher and healer, fall under the weight of the cross. We, your people, fail often. Suddenly, our accomplishments, our reputation, our financial security, our health, our most cherished loved ones can fail and collapse. Allow us to struggle up with you, even though the path leads to Calvary. Father, Father open, open our, our eyes to recognize Christ himself in those who are weak and wounded, those counted worthless in this world. Amen. The fourth station. Let us gaze upon Jesus seeing his mother Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There in the crowd Jesus sees the woman who gave him human life. Mary knew the time he would come when the sword would pierce his, her heart. Blessed is she among women. Blessed is she who hears the word of God and keeps it, pondering the Father's love in her heart. She proclaims the greatness of the Lord, even in the terrible meeting. Father of mercy, fill us with the compassion, with Mary the mother of Jesus, and our mother as well. Help us stand close to those who suffer without respite. Strengthen us that we may strengthen them. Amen.
the fifth station. Let us gaze upon Simon, helping Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon took no delight, seeing Jesus man handled towards the horror of the crucifixion. He was a bystander forced into service by the soldiers, helping Jesus carry his burden. Helping the man, Jesus, Simon felt compassion grew in his own heart for him. Later did he know his service would be remembered down the centuries. Father of mercy, in Simon we see someone like ourselves, busy with our lives. May we, like Simon, learn to have compassion upon those in need. Amen. The sixth station. Let us gaze upon Veronica wiping the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' face is covered with sweat, blood, and dust, degraded and despised. Veronica, seeing her Savior in such a state, feels compassion and wipes the grim of his countenance. May we see the image of Jesus not only in the veil of Veronica, but in the faces of the poor, those who are made dusty and splattered with blood by our society and our lack of compassion for them. By the presence and power of the Spirit, Increase our trust that our simple acts of mercy and concern for your people and your creation give your praise and leave their mark never be blot out. Amen. The seventh station. Let us gaze upon Jesus falling once again. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You stumble and fall once again, Lord. You must have been tempted to give it all up and give into despair. But you get up once again and pick up your cross and continue on the path to the place of ex execution. You shake the dust of your face and find the strength to continue despite the jeering crowds and cruel blows of the whip. Father, the light, the light of your Spirit guides us on our way as we struggle to the end of our time on this earth. When we fall, give us the courage to get up again and try again. Comforted in the knowledge that Christ, your Son, fell under the weight of his burden, but got up and continued to the end. Amen.
the eighth station. Let us gaze upon Jesus meeting the weeping women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus speaks to those women only few words. Do not weep for me, weep for yourselves and for your children. He is telling them to be aware of their own inner pain, pain and the pain of others. That is why Jesus took up his cross in the first place. To begin the healing of the human heart indeed of the entire universe by the confession that that this that these women of Jerusalem expressed to Jesus they come to say in that love that alone triumphs over the power of evil and sin. Through the gift of the Spirit, may we, like the weeping women of Jerusalem, share in the passion and suffering of Christ, and respond with the same self-giving love. Amen. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, you are in the world. Approaching Calvary, Jesus falls once again. Falling and knowing there is nothing more to do, but let himself go into the hands of those who will strip him, strip and nail him to the tree on which he must die. Barely able to move, Jesus loses the last shred of his human dignity and awaits the unfolding of the will of his Father. By the gift of your Spirit, when we are at the end of our road, give us the courage to turn everything we are and all that we do into your loving hands, O Father. Knowing that the cross leads not only to Calvary, but truly to the gift of joy ever ending. Amen. The tenth station. Let us gaze upon Jesus, the stripped of his garments. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The humiliation of having others undress him and, re and reveal his precious body to the jeering crowd was almost the last humiliation. Jesus had had to endure before being nailed to the cross as a common criminal. Even the clothing on his back, made by his mother's hand, was an object of jest and the crown with soldiers rolling their death for it. We remember all those who live without the love and support that gives life value and purpose. In the poor of the earth and in the beaten, worn out earth itself, something positive can come into being, something good can come even after such humiliation and suffering at the hands of an indifferent world. Amen.
Let us gaze upon Jesus as he is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The precious human blood of Jesus drenches the wood of the cross. It drops into the earth below, this symbol of shame and degradation. It takes on the suffering of the human family and of the earth itself. Jesus, in shedding his blood, becomes indeed one of us, our brother and our saviour. Father in heaven, your beloved Son accepted the cruel death that others put him to. He did not try to escape from the pain or suffering. Through the gift of your Spirit, enable us to alleviate the sufferings of others and to accept our own as a share in Christ's path to the life without end that you promised to us. Amen. the twelfth station let us gaze upon Jesus as he dies on the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world only a few stay beneath the cross as Jesus comes to the end of his life feeling abandoned by his father he asked his beloved disciple to care for his loving mother. Forgiving a fellow criminal his sins and promising him heavenly bliss in heaven, Jesus suffers thirst. Soon he bows his head and dies. Almighty Father, Father our Father, Father Jesus knew the abandonment of the cross, suffering even the fear of losing your love. Help us to see your face in our own hour of darkness. Help us to sustain our belief in you. As we breathe our last, may we surrender ourselves into the hands without reservation and confidence in your promises. Let us gaze upon Jesus being taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The broken, torn, and mutilated body of Jesus is placed back into the outstretched hands of his mother Mary. Those few faithful disciples who remained, still in shock and disbelief, could not abandon the broken Jesus and his grief-stricken mother. At least some did not flee at the end of Jesus' earthly life. Father in heaven, your beloved Son, he did not try to escape from the pain or suffering. Through the gift of your Spirit, enable us to alleviate the sufferings of others and to accept our own as a share in Christ's path to the life without end that you promised to us. Amen. Let us gaze upon Jesus being laid to the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has become the lifeless grain of wheat which produces abundant fruit for every age and all time. From his tomb, light will shine forth in every generation, calling the whole world to faith, hope, and to love. That love will outlast all of the sufferings and pain we know on this earth and will last for all eternity. Loss of life, love, home, family, health, relationships, and even hope that would us deeply and break us apart. We pray for the strength to be present to one another, especially during those times of doubt, confusion, and hopelessness. Spirit of God, strengthen us and keep our faith strong and pure. May the love of Christ be ours, that love that has our long fear. Amen. Let us gaze upon Jesus risen from the dead. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now, after the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the grave. An angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled away the stone and sat upon it. And his appearance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. For I know that you are looking for Jesus who has been crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he was lying. Go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and behold, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Christ, Christ has, has died, died. Christ, Christ has risen, Christ, Christ will come again. again. May we who have celebrated the sacred passion of our Lord Jesus Christ be always held in God's hands, hands of love and mercy, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.